Colton Milhoff here from Modern Robotics to show you the contents of the first Tech Challenge full kit and base kit. Let's check it out. The full kit is good for new first Tech Challenge teams or existing first Tech Challenge teams who want to fully convert to the new system. The base kit is good for existing first Tech Challenge teams who just want to use their old modules with a Android based robot. Let's take a look at the contents of both of these kits. We'll start with the full kit. The full kit comes with five modules, three sensors, an on-the-go cable, and the USB and power cables you'll need to connect everything together. We'll start with the power distribution module. This comes with an on-the-go cable, which is a single cable that goes from your phone to the power distribution module. It is a mini to a micro. On the power distribution module, the phone plugs in to this side, which goes to a powered USB hub on this side. This will provide data to all of your modules. There's a master on-off switch between the Tamiya connector to the battery and the 20 amp fuse, which then goes to six Anderson power pole outputs, which will power your other modules. Next, you'll also have two motor controllers. Each motor controller can control two motors and two encoders. It comes with the uh, USB cable needed to go from the power distribution module to the controller and a 50 centimeter Anderson power pole extension cable which will go from the power distribution module to the 12 volt input. You get two of those. You'll also get a servo controller. A servo controller can control six servos. It again comes with the 50 centimeter engine power pole extension cable and a USB cable. You'll also receive a core device interface. The core device interface is what you will plug all of your new sensors into. It has two analog outputs, digital input outputs, analog inputs, PWM ports and the I2C bus. It also comes with the USB cable needed to connect it to the power distribution module. You'll also receive a legacy module. The legacy module allows you to use existing sensors or controllers that use the Lego sensor style uh, connection. It comes with a USB cable needed to plug it into the power distribution module and it has six ports for existing LEGO sensors from Hitechnic or LEGO. And uh, you can also plug into their motor controllers or servo controllers from Tetrix or Matrix. Last, you'll also receive three sensors. The sensors you'll get are a ODS sensor, a IR seeker, and a touch sensor. Those will all plug into your core device interface. So again, in the full kit, you receive a power distribution module, two motor controllers, a servo controller, a device interface, a legacy module, three sensors, an on-the-go cable, the USB cables, and power cables that you need to connect it all together. Now, let's go over the base kit. The base kit contains what you need to convert an existing first tech challenge robot to an Android-based robot. It contains two modules. You have the power distribution module and the legacy module. And again, these still come with the on-the-go cable and the USB cable. So the USB cable plugs in your legacy module to the power distribution module and the on-the-go cable plug in your phone to the power distribution module. You can plug in your existing sensors and controllers to the legacy module on the six Lego style ports on that module. We'll be coming out with more detailed videos about each of those modules and sensors and how to program them, connect them together, get a robot moving in the future. If you'd like to know right away when those videos are released, be sure to like Modern Robotics Inc. on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Also, go to modernroboticsinc.com and register to be on our mailing list. Right now, you can find specifications and prices for those individual packages on modernroboticsinc.com. If you don't have a building system yet for your new control system, be sure to check out Matrix Robotics. You can find them on Facebook or at matrixrobotics.com. We are the newest distributor of Matrix Robotics.